So here we have 9.7 evaluating a piecewise defined function. So we have a function h and we have the y values for each of for that function but that y value depends on the x value. So if the x value is between negative 2.5 and 1.5 or equal to negative 1.5 then this is the y value I would use. If my x value is between these two or equal to this one, this is the y value I, I use. If my x is between these two values, I use this as my y value. And if my x is between these two values or equal to this one, then this is the y value I will use. So when I try to evaluate these, I just need to figure out where these x's are in this spectrum. Once I know where this specific x value lives, then I can use that particular y value or that expression to find the y value. So for negative 1.5, I see what negative 1.5 both in the top and the second line, but this one does not equal negative 1.5. This does not include negative 1.5. Whereas here it does equal negative 1.5 and includes it. So then this is the expression that I will use to find the y value. Now there's nothing to plug in, no x, no x here for me to plug in negative 1.5. So the response is just simply negative 2. Now for 0, 0 would be here. 0 would be between negative 0.5 and positive 0.5. And so the y value that I'm going to choose this time is actually 0. And then 0 0.5 is in two places. It's in the third line and in the last line. But the last line is the one that includes 0 0.5. It equals 0 0.5. So I would have to use the last expression for the, to find the y value. And since there's no x to plug that 0.5 into, the y value is simply just 1. Now, here's a different one, and it does have an expression that I would have to plug in x. But again, I need to figure out where all these x values live first before I decide which expression to use to find the y value. So for negative 4, negative 4 is actually less than negative 2. So I would use this expression to find the y value. And there's no x's here to plug the negative 4 in. So the answer is just simply the y value 3. Here we have negative 1, and negative 1 would be between between negative 2 and 1, right? If you have a number line, here's negative 2, here's 1, there's negative 1, there's 0. Negative 1 is between negative 2 and 1. So then this is the expression I would plug in that x value of negative 1. And then if I calculate this, I get negative 4 as my y value. Now here I'm going to plug in 1, and x is 1, but there's two lines that have x with 1. However, this is the one where it says x can equal 1. So this is the expression that I have to plug 1 into. And when I plug in 1, I get negative of 0 squared, which is just 0. Then when I plug in 2, 2, the x value 2, is greater than 1, so I would plug it into this expression. So then I get 2 over 4, or 1 half plus 1, which is 3 halves, and I can't simplify that any further. And so that's really the idea behind this, is you figure out where this x value lives. Once you know where it lives, you can use that corresponding expression to find the y value.